Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interests of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Hello everyone, looking at the market rundown, SPY, IWM, QQQ, daily, weekly time frame. So SPY was a very exciting day, some nice trading opportunities. We had a five minute bear break of 236.70, indicating the bear dump. And we had the bounce. We knew to be looking for this bounce because of the daily middle Bollinger Band support. And we also had the five minute RSI very oversold when we hit these levels. So it's very comforting when you are looking for a bullish entry. You see a five minute oversold conditions when you're hitting a key support on the hourly or the daily time frame. And that's exactly the setup we had here today. Risk to reward definitely favors reward in that scenario because the RSI is telling us a bounce is coming in the near term future. And a lot of traders are all watching the same levels with the middle Bollinger Band support being the level we were all watching. So we had a bounce off that level. It ended up being a very significant bounce, a dollar to the upside plus and a bullish reversal candlestick on the daily time frame. So the bulls have a lot of momentum going in their favor. And you can see on this bounce, the five minute volume definitely favored the bulls. And it was definitely some significant volume to the upside. So that told us to believe the bulls in the sense that they were proving their momentum with that volume. And if we break this lower high pattern tomorrow, we need to see the bulls break 237.24. It's an important day tomorrow for the bulls to prove themselves here. We need to break this lower high pattern that we've seen the last six days. And we need a nice green day to confirm this reversal candlestick. So we're going to be watching very close for the bulls to show up tomorrow. We have hourly moving average resistances to be keeping an eye on. But the momentum here at the end of the day, absolutely favoring the bulls. And we're also going to be watching oil. If this oil oversold bounce gets going, that can help with the bulls momentum as well. For the weekly time frame, we did break the low of last week. And that's the first lower low on the weekly time frame in a couple of months. So we're not going to disregard that. But this consolidation on the weekly time frame could be a nice bull flag before continuing to the upside. So we're just going to be watching this daily time frame, taking it one day at a time, not getting ahead of ourselves in terms of trying to look for a dump or time the top. The dump today was very clear by utilizing the five minute time frames and seeing, you know, just zooming into the more detail, the better. So here heading in tomorrow, looking for bullish reversal confirmation. And we have to break 237.24, ideally in the morning, the sooner the better to give those bulls that confidence. IWM continues to be the weakest of the three, and it continues to be a really nice bear play on any sign of market weakness. And we have now seen six red days in a row on increasing bear volume. There's no sign of the bulls here. A little bit of the bulls buying the dip, but it is just lower highs and lower lows ever since we lost this middle Bollinger Band. That's your bear signal, and now the bears are in full control. So support is 134.89 and 133.89. And we're looking at resistance of 136.49. Bulls need a bullish reversal candlestick on the daily time frame before we're looking for upside here. So this dump, I shouldn't say dump, this pullback is much more developed than QQQ and the S&P 500. And this weekly middle Bollinger Band support of 133.36 is going to be in the mid to upper 133s in the near future. And we'll be looking for that level to be tested sometime in the next couple of weeks. QQQ on the weekly time or the daily time frame, same candlestick as SPY, bulls buying the dip. We didn't touch that middle Bollinger Band and we held support better than the S&P 500 did. So QQQ still stands out as the lead bull and the bulls are looking for a green day and a break of 131.15 for some follow through tomorrow. You can see the spike in volume with the bulls buying that dip. Middle Bollinger Band support continuing to hold in the weekly time frame shows. We haven't even broke the higher low pattern yet. We have an inside candlestick this week. Bulls are still in control on QQQ, and our ranking of these three still remains QQQ, S&P 500, and then IWM bringing up the rear. And obviously, that's very clear at this point. And we could see that as we kept comparing to previous days. Right now, Q or IWM hit some price range from February 8th, and I keep doing this comparison, 
But if SPY were at the same level hitting their prices from February 8th, we'd be down under 230 at this point. So very clear divergence. Watching for confirmation for the bulls tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you to wrap up the week.